attacking strategies on top of the Monty, and they just want to cut that out. They don't want to have to deal with that. Interesting, that Monty ban, because we haven't seen a ton of Monty from Bliss, but it's also, funnily enough, I looked back, Copenhagen Major, W7M, also banned it against Bliss, and Bliss got so much value out of these drones. Now information, now Mowgli moves on in. He's looking for the opener. But Oda has moved away and he's found one, traded on back again, but Wolves sustain a numbers advantage. Danger mode here for Shinka though as he tries to make his way on into the bomb site. He's worried about the vertical pressure above and speaking of that's Fisher guy that suddenly comes to life, active in the server. Brendo to double down onto Deadshot as well. Now three on two, although the bomb is going down for Wolves. Nearly half the round remains. And this 3v2 in favor of the defense now is flipped upon its head as they must attack themselves. Mowgli in all kinds of pain at the moment, caught in the dread mine. He is a feared. Brendo's found the first. Low HP Mowgli, which way to watch? Too many angles, too many players to deal with. The first one dealt with handily as the Azami of Brendo looks to protect himself. He has the time to make this one work. Mowgli must reload, but Brendo's good for three and good to close the round for Team Bliss. Oh man, great retake from Brendo as well. Just coming in from the top floor and then coming back down in through the spiral stairs and taking down the players that he needed to to make sure they could actually get if they want to go in for an execute team through the bomb site. Oh. This is so awkward for Bibu now. He four as well, supporting here. Brendo around the corner, but he perfectly times his rotation. Hits the blind spot, finds the first, but a good trade there. Shinka has moved on in, but up above, oh, wow. Seijin maintains map control and dominates with it. Bibu's moved on in, but he's so exposed right now. Deadshot is in a very awkward position. He might find the first. Can he find the second? A shotgun to the face puts his dream to rest. All on Bibu now. He's managed to sneak in. Oh, what a oh, shot. Geez. 1v2. And Mandy, this is winnable. The diffuser is within his clutches. <laughs> And these players are so separated. A long angle for Fisho, Grenade, guys. He still holds on to his position. No gas, no util of any kind to try and support him. But Brendo finds the first pick. And now Mowgli must deal with this player on the stairs. Fisho, guys, still remains in position. They're giving up. They're not doing this anymore. They're like, okay, there are two players here. We don't want this anymore. Take the point of least resistance. And okay, apparently it works anyway. Mowgli to take down Sage in on the ground floor. And here comes oh, the no. execute Shinka to be actually be taken down by Odo as he tries to put the diffuser in the bomb site. Ibu's got to hold the stairs, but Fisho Gez says, look at your shotgun, look at mine, which is better? He force found one with that Amaru's SMG 11 on this top floor. He's got a shotgun of his own and he's looking, hunting for something more. But Fisho guy, five kills in the game, gets the better of him. Mowgli, 1v3. No information, a lot of damage from that C4. No chance of planting here. Diffuser may be in pocket, but time certainly is not. And Wettables is safely down below with plenty of information to call. What a shot there. But he must do it now with the pistol. Fish okay, a thought. And Wolves still don't even have ground floor control. This is a basement defense for goodness sake. They really want to try and work this vertical to see what they can find, but there's another defender finally falling off back into the bomb site, thinking that they have wasted enough time, and it's leaving Brendo all alone on the ground floor. Finally, they can get the pinch out onto him. Deadshot to take him down, and now vertical control is in the hands of Wolves. They can hopefully now start to use P4's rovers. They didn't actually need it for the roam clear to start to pick apart the bomb site, but the rest of Team Bliss have actually vacated all the areas that are vulnerable to the vertical. They're playing adjacent to the bomb site instead. The question is, is 45 seconds long enough to breach this main wall, to get vertical pressure, and to start executing onto the site? They could do it. They could definitely do it. Shinka with his two smokes could certainly make an execute play work. Oh, but there's a bit of a tussle going down inside of Spiral as well. Deadshot's just on flank watch duty. Fisho does not need to move. Look at that clock. Ever it ticks away. Wolves in the disadvantage. Shinka goes down. Sage has found his second in the rounds. Bibu desperate now from the yellow stairs. Gets a bit of damage onto Wettables, but he's not able to get the killing blow. And desperate now, he is spraying on through. Fisher guys on for a huge flank as well. Wettables finds one. Deadshot cannot land the killing blow. P4 desperate now, dropping the hatch. He falls, he dies. Five Around rounds. Of waiting for it. P4 still holding that. He's now shot off the glass. In goes Mowgli. On the back of the nade, it might not have been heard. P4's in. Oh, he gets the killing blow, but only barely. Wettables finds Bibu. Deadshot also jumps into the fun. Three players left for Bliss, but they make it even once again. Mowgli trapped here and killed by the rookie from Wettables. 
He's only been on this team for a goddamn month and he's farming the French here at a major. Brendo to find the final two. Six rounds Feels straight some damage. for- He's supported as well by P4. Both of these players have had their fair share of decent games in the past. Mowgli a little bit quiet in this tournament thus far. Deadshot also up. Mr. Consistent himself. The Swede. Oh, and he finds one. This Swiss player is tearing up heads. He's taken down wet. Solid shot there from Deadshot. Oh, but he's going to be seen by the vertical. He's being chased. And Mowgli's actually going to oh, collect wow. another one to Brendo. So does P4 doubling down. A pretty heavy man deficit for Bliss Wolves. Really coming out on top in this roam game. You blink and you miss it. It was a great setup from Bliss on the top floor, but these three oh, roamers right. have put them under the pump. Now pushing up, it's Oda, SMG 12 in hand, as one of his opponents looks to force himself down the stairs. The goo mine in foot will make things difficult. Sage and, oh no, he's got to be careful because P4's right around that corner. He finds the double. Wolves are not done yet. No. They certainly do as Waterballs is going to send in a flashbang, but is it enough to dislodge the player on the other side of Fisher Guy, who is the danger man? Sage finds the open and Mowgli finally goes down P4. He's the man of the hour. He found the last two kills to close the previous round and now he's found the pivotal one to fuse a cold on the ground. As of the five bodies, the team Bliss. The spear and he must have an impact. Sajon looking to make something work from the yellow stairs. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the P4. Brendo now must move in and finish what his brother started. Both the brothers come to life. 5v3 now for Bliss, but Wolves are not done yet. They continue to fight. Wettable survives a C4 just barely. But meanwhile, the diffuser must be picked up. 40 seconds remain for Bliss to close the map in a four versus one. Only 30 seconds left, like you pointed out, but it's Mowgli, the danger man for Wolves. He's going to hide, lying in wait as the time starts to tick down. Can Bliss convert this? Surely they can on match point to send us, hopefully, into this map too. Desperate now for Mowgli, Wolves' own map pick, but Bliss do not rush this. They do not overcommit. A first pick for Mowgli, the refrag committed to. Is he going to land it? A third kill, but not enough. Sajan closes the game. And Bliss dared to dream, dared to imagine themselves taking down the wolves a second Would time. Would typically enable bandit trick. They ban the bandit. Oh, man. You know this where it went? They banned it. They... they... <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not too bad from you. Hope you don't mind that. Listen. Yeah. As he waits, will Oda check the angle? A flashbang remaining. He's playing so cautiously, but will he check the pivotal angle? He seems clueless. He's not going to check it. And round in the corner, P4 gets the better of him. Deadshot's found a kill meanwhile. And Bliss are not off to a cracking start here. Wettables, goo mine in his ankle. He must pull it out as Deadshot just around the corner. Here's the pull. And likely knows where Wettables is. Really tough spot now for Team Bliss in the... Pretty severe man deficit. They don't have a lot of time either. Only 40 seconds left and Wettables is still going to try and make some of this vertical work into tank down below. There are still two roamers alive though inside of the ground floor and so there will be a little bit of danger as Wettables opens up a rotate. He's not going to open it as of yet, but oh, dead shot. Perfect timing. Does find Wettables head. All up to Sage now. He's found the only kill so far in the map and he's going to have to ace up. Oh, hello. What's going on oh. there? Mowgli! <laughs> Catch that Pokemon! But the IT breach, the lack thereof, will hurt them dearly. Well, they really want to dislodge Deadshot here. If they can take him out, it means that Oda has the opportunity to send some of those off grenades from below, and they're actually going to dedicate all three players going for this, and Brono can take him down. Now, man advantage for Bliss with a minute left to go. All they need to do now is dial it back, get some info into the bomb site, have a good planning phase for the execute. If you were watching the Bliss SSG game earlier today, you will remember how many matches, how many rounds in that match were 3v5, were 1v1. Bliss cannot be complacent here because Mowgli is keen for a double and he's brought it back into the realm of possibility. No, the realm of achievability. Wolves, 3v3, as Mowgli falls on back again. Not enough time as well. Only 26 seconds left for Team Bliss, and with two players being dislodged by Mowgli, they're going to have to funnel their way on in, into the belly of the beast and into the Shadow Realm, because those Penrio gadgets are going to be active. And Wettables jumps straight on in. Oh, perfect timing on the edge jab, but it doesn't matter because Mowgli, yeah, have a good shot. Yeah, this cannot commit to this push. They will not find the ground they're looking for. As Brando also whiffs, whiffs an opportunity to find a kill down back on the site as well. 
Mowgli's running amok upstairs, and Wettables is looking completely lost. Oh, Mowgli oh, sprayed on down through the wall, but there's another player up here. Breno has to be ultra cautious. Otherwise, Deadshot's going to do exactly that. Oh, double for Deadshot. Fisho guy, 1v4. Mowgli still on the ground. But this is not looking oh. doable. And what happened there? Mowgli almost lost his head. He shoots some... Shots the other way, but Oda has once again missed an opportunity. Drones fall one by one by one. Half the round remain, but only three drones. And P4 is now taken down Oda. This is devastating for Team Bliss. They cannot dislodge oh, this just Rome. Missed him. Fishogo just missed Mowgli on the cutoff as well as he makes his way inside of Garage, but there goes Sage taking down P4 there on the vertical. Shinga, he really wants his teammate to come back into safety, but Mowgli, I think, is going to dedicate himself to this roam. He is now pretty much stuck in Garage unless he can pull up through the hatch. Oh. Here goes Fishogo, though, on his duel onto Mowgli, and that's going to put Bliss finally at a man advantage. 4v2 is exactly what you need. 50 seconds. Maybe that will be enough. The focus here has to be forcing down a small section of the site and looking to engage it for Bliss. For Wolves, the focus, isolating 1v1s. No more information left for the Aussies. Sage needs to get to work on this vertical game. This information, thank you, Jackal. I'll take that very much. But Shinka says, get out of town. I'm not done yet. 2v3 and still a shot for Wolves. Really good stuff there from the final two players of Wolves, knowing that in the man desperate they need to get aggressive, and that's exactly what Shinka does, but he gets taken down. It's Wettables to clear him out, and it's Bibu all alone in the one on three. Everything to do for the damage with this diffuser will likely go down for Fish, and Brendo will cover handily. On the way on to the bomb site, and Fisher guy is actually going to flip his take completely wow. and go over to the blue stairs. Ironically, Deadshot has done the same. On his roam, he's rotated from being near Garage to being near the bottom of these blue stairs. He has been spotted, however, on a drone, and Oda's coming around the corner. Does he have the information? He's in the perfect position. Deadshot knows about it, but doesn't land the critical hit. And now, Bliss spring into action. P4, the last man standing. Let's see if you can make magic with this MPX, mate. One versus three, doesn't find a thing. Brendo lights up the I mean, server. They might be able to convert it, but with only 30 seconds left to go and not a whole lot of info left for Team Bliss, only four drones alive, it's going to be a tough one. Keep in the back of your mind, P4 still on this roam. Changing on the ground floor. He's poised and ready. What do Bliss do? Sage is in position, P4 makes his move, he finds Sage, and that may be the round in pocket for Wolves. Bliss cannot deal with him. Finally a trade onto Bibu, but Oda dispatched with immediately after Wettables against three. Can't even find that first shot, eventually the kill, but the diffuser in pocket. Planting right in front of a bulletproof camera gives Mowgli quite an opportunity. And pros, oh, unfortunately, do fake do it. People was like, all right, that's cool. I'm going to walk my way on into Scanning Animus. But they are going to be faced by the resistance Bob of the spotted. mirror on the other side. Mowgli, though, can take down Sage. I'm not sure exactly where from, but people oh. is going to make a run for it. Fisher guy is avidly watching the position, though. Bliss seem to be aware of how dangerously close to the bomb site. Oh, no, dead shot. Uh -oh. He walks straight into the double cap can trap, and he loses his life instantly. Bibu's got so much info, but he and Shinka must think up a better idea. I don't know how Sage died in the early round, but Mowgli seems to still be on this lurk, still be doing damage. But he's losing a lot of information. And now Wolves must hunt these remaining roamers. Yep, having seen their two teammates perish on the site, they, they, they thought the better of it. Yeah. And they thought, okay, all no right, thanks. All right, Fisher guy, you can have that one for a couple seconds longer. We'll see you later. And they're going to go for the roam clear instead onto the ground floor. But the time is ticking away. And they don't have as much manpower to do so. Mowgli is going to try and inject himself into the ground floor. Ooh, even make his way this down. This close. Cargo. This could go either way, this fight. Wettables is looking for a flank and he finds it. Mowgli goes down two still roamers upstairs as Bibu gets desperate. Wettables is eventually traded. Oh, that was so close to being perfect, Bibu. You have no clue. Brendo's got to find this fight. Shig around in the corner, could pre-fire, Brendo lands it, he does not miss those, Fisho closes it. Before as well, both of them have great guns for this, 1.5 times sights. Fisho guy, like you said, he is the master of the bomb site. In goes a nade, before takes a bit of damage. This keeper barrier finally taken down, a second impact nade, doesn't find anything, a keeper barrier to protect him. Deadshot finally finds Oda, but the trade comes through swiftly as Mowgli has gone down in P4. He's got some things to think about. He's taken a lot of damage. He wants to get this revive off, but it's very unsafe to do so. He risks it for the biscuit. 
And he might be able to lap it up. Oh. Mowgli, low HP, oh, and they going? run away. Tail between their legs. Seconds Wolves, left. 15 seconds left, mate. What are you doing downstairs, P4? There is no time for this. Bliss are going to win it by default. P4, you might find one on the flank, but there's no way you'll get inside in time to plant the diffuser. A quick kill. Doesn't matter what Shink is able to do. Bliss will win the... Way, but he might be backstabbed by dead shot. Oh, wow. This is perfect. Dead shot, well played. Information clearly gathered. And he's taken down Odin. Now, is there a refrag? Bibu jumps in. He's the blitz. He is the man to move in. The man on a mission. And it's been all four wolves. They've dominated 5v1 now. Boss Agent can't oh, find man. a damn thing. Fire up, Mowgli. That's a double for you. And a big round to retake the lead. Really solid round there for the Wolves. They identified the point of weakness, and that was going in for the Lock Exo if he wants to play for safety. But he oh, wants Oda. to get his teammate across as well. Oh, no. Oda is in a much worse spot than Bruno's in. I'll tell you what. Oh, he's getting away with his Oh, oh and Bruno can get the down. Oh, but not out. Not as exciting. That's fine. Doesn't need to be out yet. Deadshot was low HP. Here comes Bibu. Oh, no. Oda. You may not know it, but you are in the perfect position to win this round for Bliss. There's a numbers advantage. He doesn't have his phone calling. Do they have any clue where he is? Oh, they would have heard that drop. Now he's trapped. He has to take a player or two with him to the grave. He spots one, takes down the fight. He's being pinched from two angles and he falls. But not without dealing damage first. Deadshot still one bullet away from death. But the same can be said for Sage. Oh, Wolves might have done enough here. Man advantage and so many points of pressure. Shinka is still sitting out of that assembly breach and he's going to take some shots onto yes, Fisher Guy. Taken very low now. Has to expend one of his smoke babes to keep him at bay. But look at this double push in through Exo from Wolves. Fisher's got to go big here. Shotgun in hand. But there are some long range engagements coming his way. P4 not going to overpeak that. Fisher Guy could time this perfectly though with the flank. I don't think Wolves will give him the chance. P4 starts forcing down that diffuser. Sage knows exactly what's up. He has to win this fight onto the player on the breach. Fisho's found one. A winnable retake now as P4 is a moment away from gas. And Fisho makes his way back again. P4's taken so low. Same can be said for Shinka. Every player in the server. Low HP. Shinka falls away. He Ooh. leaves his teammate to die for the chance. Stick it. For the chance to win it. Shinka versus Fisho guy. As Sejon looks for information, Fish has to stick this. It's so narrow, he can tuck into the corner. And Shinka must move, but how deep will he get? Fish Okai has got to stick it. Shinka finds the final shot. And Wolves with that, a map point beset before them. All the options for them, and it's spread bliss thin. A player on each angle. It's going to come down to the one versus ones as they look for their explosion. Deadshot just outside of the rafters. He's going to allow himself in by burning off that Arunagate. But IT is going to be the main point of Ooh. pressure. That Shinka with the diffuser in hand, and with only 30 seconds left to go, they have to press the attack. Oh, Sage! He's found the first one. He's looking for the second. Deadshot has to find this kill for Wolves to win the round. Oh, no. Sage, don't sweep weapons now. You need that gun and you need to land some more headshots. Two kills for Sage on. And it will need to be the younger brother to do the rest. Three players left remaining. Fisher guy, the IGL finds one. With two more to go, seven seconds on the clock. Bibu, no diffuser. They need to find it, Mowgli! Wolves! They've clutched the round, and with that, we're going to map number three. And how deserving of this series. Right. So uh, not only that, but Cade being banned out as well probably means that the trick game isn't really a thing that's going to happen. Uh, unless they pull a forest and jump onto the bandit. Oh. Bliss are loving these bandit bans, hey. What? That is so many. He really wants to clear out these dread mines, like you're saying, but when they're inactivated like that, he can't clear them out. And that's why Sage only now is ha has activated that second one, but here comes the execute. Only 25 seconds oh. left, but Deadshot's going to make his way in. Mowgli does find his second, though. Oh, another one for Mowgli. He's unstoppable. Or so you would think. Brendo takes him down. Sage, and you could win the round for your team. Oh, my God, Sage. This man does it again. Every damn time you look, and he is there waiting to steal the round. Doesn't matter. He's got Dreadmines to win it. Bibu will stick this diffuser. The two brothers must counter. And indeed, Brendo steps up to the table. Some might professionally say. Um, I don't think it's too bad, though, right? It's like a line of sight. Bibu's still got pressure. I mean, they can't play it. That's like the main thing, right? 
Mm. And they can still pressure out rafters. But here goes Mowgli, down inside the lounge. He's gonna take out Sage, but not before being killed by the wolf from Mr. Fish. Ride. He's gonna go for the 2k down in mini garage. It's leaving Bibu and Shinka all alone inside the middle of the bomb site, by the way, is Shinka. He's gonna get Seaford from below, but not out. The thing is here that Bibu can't jump into sight. So it's all up to Shinka to force this diffuser down. Bibu cannot overcommit. Shinka is so worried. He does fire out the position, but Bibu's gone down. Fisher guy has been amazing. And now Shinka must clutch up one kill. Two more required. Oda and Brendo. Well, Oda makes his way forward. What an impact. Oh, the fire. And that will be an easy retake there for Bliss. Jacuzzi Wolf now, of course, both Cade and Bandit has been banned out. So the only thing they'd have to worry about is Mute on the other side. And there are no Mute Gems on the other side. The guy's probably dedicated them over to Bathroom. Oh, Zephyr. fish! Oh, here goes Wolves! P4's gone in. Do they know about this, Bliss? This is very strange. Sage has just let him on through, but there's good sound cover from the Ram. P4 now has information. He knows there's a player behind here. Sage is completely clueless, but it doesn't matter! Because he can flick to his head regardless. Another one surely for Sage not to be. Shinka pairs up with his teammate. Right in the bomb side now. Wolves. As two players from Bliss have to retake from the other side. Mowgli so good. Brendo goes down. Mowgli keen for another one. Wettables. Oh, he peeks onto the balcony, but there's nobody there anymore. He can take down Mowgli eventually. Two on two. They have info. Yeah, Oda's got some Valkyrie cameras at the player in the top main. He's going to be able to pre-fire him. No, he's not. Oh. Deadshot can land a shot. Shinka can land the second. And that's Look, Wolves. One of the stairs here. Don't know There's when he's going to make his move. There is a camera here. So Shinka's position revealed. The Ying Candellas go out. Oda finds one. Brendo gets his first. Traded on back. But is the damage done? Very early in the round. Have a look at that. There's only bloody... 1.45 left on the clock. This has been a very short round so far, but so much has happened. Fisher guy's feeling the pressure now. They've tried to make an execute work on the bottom side about halfway through, and now he's recalled his players back. He's realized, okay, guys, no more one versus ones. We've lost a lot of players. Let's just head back on in and play for these dread mines. He's now activated his third dread mine, and the rest of Wolves need to slowly dissect it. Two players on drones at the moment, both Deadshot and P4, going through the thinking phase, and it's going to be P4 actively calling what execute they want to go for. He's going to burn out one of the dread mines, going to telegraph his position, and that nade is going to do the second. Deadshot almost actually got a kill with that nade. P4's got good info in the site. A Candela to go out. Oh no. This will be devastating for Fish if he's not able to get to safety. A second to go out as well. P4 goes deep. Will he land the final kill? Oh, Fish gets him. Crossfire as well from Wettables from far along. Shinka tries to make his way down blue, but it's just not going to happen. Deadshot and him must pick up the pieces. Yeah, Shinka, he couldn't progress on forward anymore. He was caught out by the Dread Mine, as we spoke about earlier, and that's forced him to come back up and rendezvous with his teammate of Deadshot. It seems like they are going to dedicate themselves to this kitchen hat shop or down the main stairs. Do Team Bliss know? That is the question, or are they going to be looking the wrong way? Not even the blue hatch is open. Wolves do not have many they're, options they're here, Mandy. Back. They're doubling back once again. The classic Wolves, they have no time to make a decision, and so a terrible one must be committed to. Fish should hopefully in a moment get an idea that both of these players are coming from blue. Wettables waits. SMG 11 in hand. Seconds remaining. No time left. One kill for Wet. The trade comes through. Oh, dead shots! You're not allowed to do that, Something mate! Linear. The fact that they are opening up Jacuzzi does make me think that they are oh, looking wow. for that wall to floor compressure, and here goes P4. Oh, this is so classic Wolves, isn't it? Just straight on in on the back of the breach and nade, and then entry. Mowgli's found one looking for a second. Brenda, you better re be ready for this, but you're not, and you'll lose your head because of it. Mowgli, two kills on the entry, and it's looking perfect for Wolves. His last two players from Bliss right next to each other, and there's two whole minutes for the attack to sort out a push. Really nice explosive entry there for Team Wolves and it's going to force the remaining two players of Teamless to get aggressive but they've been seen oh. on their aggression and taken down. That's dead shot to take down Oda but not before Wettables can get one onto Mowgli. Now one versus four but surely this one's dire. Surely it is but apparently no he can claim the second one onto dead shot. One versus three slightly more doable but still in such a rough spot. Oh before he's gone oh, down. Wettables. Not out. I don't think Wet knows. Plant's going down. Shinka in a good position. Very safe plant. This this is going to be such a solid post plant for Wolves. Hard to lose. Uh, do you know, Bibu? Do you know? Because Wettables is just around this corner. Good flash. Oh, that keeps him at bay for another moment. Bibu goes aggressive. You don't need your thermite charge now, mate. The res has come through. P4 is back on his feet, and Wettables has a lot of work to do. 
Three kills will be required and a defuse. 24 seconds to get it done, but Bibu on the rotate back. A massive sigh of no relief. Protected Wettables has a good position. P4 has the kit. Down main stairs. Oh, this is so smart. They have a Zami barricaded off the Ash Rush wall. He can't, he can't run in. through. He cannot sprint in. Someone needs to look at him. Oh, no. He's oh, going for it anyway. anyway. He's going for the plants. What is this from Wolves? Have Bliss heard it? They certainly have. Sage and can deny. Mowgli. Meanwhile, Wettables denies the plant. 15 seconds for Wolves to desperately fight from a man disadvantage. As Deadshot has picked up that Diffuser once again. He's looking to contest Wettables, but he's not given the fight. He's looking for Wet found Shinka. Another kill now for Bliss. All on Bibu. He can't find a damn thing. So he's looking for something here on Dirt. The nade does not sink a kill. And Fisho Guy drops into the meat grinder. That player boosted up on the AKs. It's Mowgli once again. Traded on back. Sage might have this. It's a 3v3, but Deadshot springs up again. Oh, 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 C4! Oh, oh, Shinka denies the plan regardless. But what a shot from Wedderbulls. And we're going to be able to move in and look to try and threaten a plant. Meanwhile, the rest of Wolves are likely in position to try and deny, to try and hold on. Bibu finds one, can't get the second as he is traded on back. Shink is such low HP, but meanwhile, P4 is taking out Brandon. Oh, the timing, P4! You cannot get unluckier than that. Two low HP Wolves to try and stave off Bliss, but Shinka has found one despite the low health. Fish needs to get into position, the sound cover. As he forces this plant down, Oda has to support his teammate, Fisho Guy. One second left on the plant. Oda spots the player, but is it going to be enough? Right around the corner, here comes Shink. You're not aiming high enough. You've got to get this shot. Oda, you've got to land it. That's P4. But Shinka still remains. Fisho dispatches. Yes, taking out P4 now in the man advantage. They're turning their attention in towards the bomb site, which is a repeat over on Jim and Bedroom. Wettables, he's still got one exothermic charge in his pocket. So if he wants to rotate over and then put the pressure on Jacuzzi and see where he can go from there, he can certainly do so. But Shinka, feeling a bit worried about the pressure coming in from logistics. The way that Wettables is poised at the moment is making me think that Bliss maybe don't care that much about flipping their push over to Jacuzzi as Wettables oh. is able to collect another one over onto Mowgli, getting ants in his pants. Yeah, it seems to be the, the devil for Mowgli these last few rounds. Sage on now clearing utility. On this logistic oh, hatch. Did it not get the dread mine? No, no, I think it did clear the dread mine. I think that's the point, right? Oh, oh what? nice Oda? shot from Bibu. Yeah, very nice shot. Oh, I don't know what Oda's doing now. Oh, He's found a one. second one. Bibu. Dead shot jumps in the fight as well. 1v2 now for the captain Ooh, of the French team. Around. He knows the info. Oh, that C4 just barely missed. Bliss, don't feed this one. Doesn't matter. Wettables. Aggressively peeking. Wettables needs to find that. Wettables needs to support his teammate. He cannot see the player. In come the flashes, 25 seconds. This is it, Bliss. Match point or busts. And the drop comes through. Oh, Fisho guy dies. He's gassed out and he chokes the rounds. But it's not over yet. Shinka finds yet another one. Wettables goes down. Sajan must pick up the pieces. He's fallen. It's all up to Oda. 1v2. And it's a difficult clutch for him to pull off, but Bibu says not today! Only 40 seconds left to go. They could try and brute force their way in through the breach, or they could be methodical about rafters. Brando's gonna send in a bit of utility, and Fisher Guy has the bomb. Oh, That's making me think they are going to go for it. Oh, Oda goes in, he finds a nade at the top of red stairs. P4 still survives. Both of the players remaining for walls sit at top rafters, and Oda can lock them out. The diffuser for Brendo. It must go down onto the site. Where's the cover? Bibu finds one, Wettables is taken out, but Oda to find the final one! Match point and series points! It's a little bit scary onto Brendo on the other side. Mowgli is such an important player for Wolves. He either wins or he falls, there is nothing in between, and Oda is his first victim. Danger zone now for Team Bliss with a minute left to go, Deadshot's gonna play in the second, but Wettables is in the middle of the side! Oh, Wettables! He's found two, he's shut down! Brendo and Sage in the brothers to close it out, but he chokes it at the final hurdle. And Sage has no choice but to smack down this keeper barrier. The fuser on the ground as he walks through the gas. Another one meets him. And he must pick this back up. The kit in hands. Three players to find. They will give him nothing. And he has to take these fights one by one straight again into the meat grinder. Deadshot says, you know what, guys? I think it's about time for another Who's overtime. for long enough. They're setting up Brendo here. 
They know that Brando is going to be the difference maker either through blue or to keep the flankers at bay. Fisher Guy with the diffuser is on and above the hatch and he really wants to get in, but here goes the flood from Brendo. Oh, He's caught in the Shadow Realm, but Sage can open things up. A good trade, but Shink is good. Sage for a double. Oda low HP as Wolves with their advantage peel on back. That diffuser is not within either of these players' clutches. Sage on. He found the first two openers and he is hungry for more. He goes deep into sight. And he finds nothing. A breach with the sledgehammer. The nade comes out. But will he find the kill? He's shut down. Dead shot. A massive kill once again. Oda finds one. Two more to find. He's got no clue that there's more in Modo. And one player far above. Shinka gets the closing Taking kill. On. Through oil. Mowgli ever so patient. 30 seconds now. And here he goes, Mowgli with the entry, but can he find one? Yes, he can! No, no, he can't! Oh, oh. one first, and Brando to double down with the second! Wolves, they've fallen flat on their faces, but Bibu's given them a lifeline. Mowgli desperately looking for something, he gets it! But it's gonna need to be a hell of a lot more than that. Two players on the ground is not enough! Bliss, push us to round number 15! And we need every goddamn round out of this game to sort out a winner. This is where the explosives need to come into play for Team Bliss. They need to start sending these nades into the bomb site, and they need to get start to get Brendo's uh, explosive charges in on these Azami barricades. Nice info for Oda. That's going to oh, open up some below. of the bombs. Are, oh, but there's one down below, and that is the opening pick of the final round going down to Bibu. But there are two players at the moment in the ground floor. Bliss could hit it, but not if Deadshot will shut them down. Sage and all. Oh. Takes down that C4, Brendo's found the opener, and his big brother moves on in. He almost finds one kill, but Deadshot finds his head. Fisher guy and Brendo now, with the weight of a region on their shoulders in a two versus four. They're really starting to feel the gravity of the bomb site pulling them now with only 25 seconds left to go. And here goes Brendo into the Shadow Realm. Shut down. Shinka on the other side. And it's up to Brendo now to do what nobody else can do. Wolves let out a howl! It would not be a major without these guys down into the playoffs. Dreams crushed for Australia.